almost like an abstraction, like it's an abstract thing you do. Like we, I go to my lab <laughs> or my office, I code, I do some experiments, whatever thing it is that somebody's doing, and then I come away from that and that's it, right? There's not this... And then you go home like the Big Bang Theory guys and yeah, <laughs> watch sci-fi TV watch. shows and <laughs> nerd out <laughs> and play D and D. Right? No, you no. didn't. But the <laughs> yeah, thankfully. <laughs> but we do love those guys. <laughs> we do. But what what happens is that you know it's almost like you're taught these things, but it's like something I go and do. It's like this you know, this place, like I'm doing physics, I, I, I utilize quantum mechanics and like, you know, all those things, but I never really apply it to my own physical life experience. It's the weirdest thing. Like you're not in going through physics. Mm -hmm. We'll have, I'll never forget modern physics, I think was the closest thing I had. I think I took it my sophomore year in college when I was doing my degree in physics and it exposed you to really weird things, you know, cause you're starting to get in like uh, relativity, and you start to look at time dilation, length contraction, things that are just like, this is really weird, you know? Mm -hmm. And it starts to make you think about like, well, what if my body was traveling through space at this speed? And you start <laughs> right. to think about this is crazy. But you kind of, those are like where the thought experiments kind of end. And so we don't really take, and because quantum mechanics is incredible. It tells us that, I mean, we're not, this, this concreteness, not really so concrete.